Okay, in this video I want to go over how someone would go about getting their own domain name. And I think that everybody should have their own domain name. And not even if you, you know, not just for web pages. You may never want to have your own website. But you at something.com is a great email address. So if you have your own domain name, you can make unlimited email addresses. And it's, it just sounds more professional and it doesn't require a big investment. Now, normally, for I've got a number of domain names, and I've used a service, uh, directnick.com, which is simply one of the many dozens of domain registrars out there where you can buy a domain. They charge about 15 bucks a year. Other places charge about 10 bucks a year. Some places charge a little bit more. But they have a, over directnick, they have a nice interface for managing domains, and you can certainly do a search. So you could do a search for uh, I'll do a search for R R Phillips. And of course, I see the .com is taken, but the .net is available, and so forth. So instead of using DirectNIC, which is perfectly fine, I'm going to use Google's domain service, which, if you haven't tried it out yet, is also it's pretty straightforward. And people kind of like Google's reputation. So instead of using DirectNIC service, I'm going to use uh, Google's service for registering domain names. So I'm over here at the Google Apps page, google.com slash a. And instead of course using the existing domain name, I'm going to buy a new domain name. And I can search for different things. I'm going to go ahead and do a search for hikinginbend.com. I live in Bend, Oregon, so I'll do hiking in Bend. And let me go ahead and do a check availability. And sure enough, it is available. I just checked a second ago. All right, so I see the one year domain name registration is $10, and that includes everything I need. So I'm going to go ahead and do continue to registration and fill out some basic information here. And I'm just asking for name and email address, it looks like. And I'm not sure if they need all this detail on here, but I'll go ahead and type it out. So address information and stuff like that. And after I get that filled out, I'll just go through and read these service agreements and then choose I accept and proceed to Google Checkout. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in some credit card information, billing information, and then I will, of course, agree and continue. Okay, one year registration for hikinginbend.com powered by GoDaddy.com. So, of course, we've heard of GoDaddy 2 as being a very popular domain registration source, and it looks like they, uh, Google is using GoDaddy. All right, so now that that's been taken care of, Sign in to complete this purchase with your Google account. So I can go ahead and log in. Send me Google checkout. No, keep my email address confidential. Sure. I want to receive promotional email from Google Apps. No. Place your order now. Okay, I'm done. So I have uh, made my purchase. I can now access my Google Apps domain. Click here to retrieve your purchase. Now, first step, it's taking me to create my first administrator account. So well, I'll say first step, step three or three. So I'm finishing the order process. So I need to create an account so it'll be the primary account for hikinginbend.com. So I'll create a username and a password and then I'll uh, click on continue with setup. Okay, I've gone into there and now I'm at my dashboard and the dashboard is a popular term used for different services where you can manage the various aspects of the account. So I've got my hikinginbend.com domain and let's look at some of the things that we can do. So I've got a basic edition here and here are my service settings. Now one of the th great things about having your own domain name is having email access to it. So they're letting me know that I can go to mail.hikinginbin.com and I can access uh, a custom kind of email account just for this domain. And I've got a calendar for it set up, uh, Google Talk, Docs, and uh, the Google, Google Site Service, which you don't have to use this. I'm going to just check out their email system for a moment. Okay, so it's when it talks about your users can access email. Basically, you can create multiple user accounts. So I could have you know John at hikinginbend.com and Sarah at hikinginbend.com. 
all of them could have their own unique email address and email account with this name formats and so forth and this is a cool feature here this is the catch-all address what you can do is you can choose the second option here forward the email to something at hikingbend.com so this could be you know catch-all at hikingandbend.com so then anybody who types in something at hikingandbend.com if it's not a specific email address you've already created then you can have it forward over to this one address so basically it's a simple way to kind of create a, a unique email address for every purpose that might come along I'll go ahead and leave it though as the discard the email so if they're not going to use an official email address that I've provided then I'll have it discard that message okay so let me just look over these are the general email settings everything seems okay I'm just really leaving all the default options and I see there's also some email addresses let me click over that oh hold on let me cancel and let me hit save changes and now I'm gonna to go to the email addresses area and this is where I can start to make up email addresses I already created one email address Ralph Phillips at hikingandbend.com and I can of course create others